Okay, so uh, basically, I I seen you guys came across our our page, and um, mm-hmm. I'm in a Facebook group that uh, that we speak a lot about, you know, trucking companies and what you guys got to offer. So yeah. I went on ahead and decided to send you guys a a list of a uh, list of questions uh, yeah. to see what 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 you guys have available. So. Can okay. you can you uh, tell me a little bit about the company and and what you guys have to offer? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um. So yeah. So we're a um family owned and operated bulk tanker company. Mm-hmm. So we have two divisions. Um. One runs dry bulk products. So cement powder, sand, limestone, soda ash, fly ash, white cement, pretty much anything that comes in a powdered form, we haul it. Right. Um. And then we also do um liquids. So we run propane, asphalt, um, lubricants such as motor oil. Um, we do a specialized liquid called Admix. Um, we run butane, AeroPress, um, lots of liquids, um, hazmat and not hazmat. Okay. So let me ask you this. How do you pronounce the name? Venezia. Venezia. Okay. Okay. And you guys are the 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 company. The main headquarters is located where? Uh, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you guys is uh, mm-hmm. located in Pennsylvania. All right, all yeah, right. Sure. Uh, okay. So of course, this is one of the companies that does require you to have hazmat. Um, not necessarily. So it depends on what you're hauling. So our dry bulk division. Um, no re- endorsements are required. What? If you're doing, um, so dry bulk, so those are the cement powder, sand, and limestone type stuff. Not, those are no endorsements. Not not even tanker? No, sir. Tanker's not required to run dry. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it's but it's still in a, in a tanker like. It is in a tra- pneumatic tanker, yeah. Oh, Please, okay. Yeah. So you only need tanker to run liquid. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um. The lubricants, such as motor oil, that requires a tanker endorsement. Right. Um, asphalt, propane, that requires tanker hazmat, um, and then so on. But um, we also, some positions do also require TWIC as well. Okay, okay. Uh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Now, for the drivers that doesn't have a TWIC or, or hazmat endorsements, mm-hmm. uh, would you guys help them get that, or do they have Absolutely. to Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as long as they have tanker, um, I can typically find them a position or we would certainly reimburse them if they do want to go get that. So oh, okay. we do really work with the drivers and try and get them to come on and find ways to help them. So like even we also have freight that runs to Canada. Mm-hmm. So if they're interested in doing that, um, we would also reimburse them for passport as well. Oh, okay. Okay. So mm-hmm. passport, uh, hazmat and uh, a Twit card. Now, the Twit yeah. card is for, like, going on the ports and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. Makes, yeah. makes it a lot easier to, 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 uh-huh. to go on the ports. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. So, being that, uh, you know, being what it is, what, what, how many years are you guys looking for or require for the so, driver to have? Typically, we're looking for about one year um, of Class A driving experience. So this has to be verifiable. Um, we're a little bit more flexible in the dry bulk division, whereas if you're having like nine to 11 months, we can typically get you in. We have a little bit of drop and hook. We can train you in and then get you get you a little more driving experience and comfortable with the work mm-hmm. um, and then get you into the dry bulk. Um, but for the liquids, it does need at least a year. Okay. Some of them... I mean, I even am looking for drivers with previous tanker experience if they have it. Um, right now, we're offering a ten thousand dollars sign-on bonus if you have one year of tanker in the last ten years. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. What's the what's now? Let me ask you this: uh, Is the starting pay is regardless if a driver have a year or six year uh, of experience? Yeah. So it has they are um, like I want to say pay scale is dependent on tanker experience. So if they have four years of tanker experience in the last 10 years, um, we would raise your rate according to that. So then that includes in your, like you would get seniority for that. So what's, that's how we work. What's, what's the starting rate then? So for um, your dry bulk, starting rate is $0.55 cents per mile. 
for all your miles loaded and empty. And then your liquid, such as the motor oil, is fifty nine cents per mile. Okay. And so. this and this mm-hmm. is W two. Uh yes, sir. Okay, okay. So close to seventy cent a mile, seventy cent twenty five. Yeah. Uh, give so, me a second. Typically, and they also get paid for loading and unloading as well. So if your average, like for our our lubricants, if they are, um, so it's fifty nine cents per mile, twenty five dollars to load and unload. If you're averaging that together, it's about seventy two cents per mile. Okay, okay. So between yeah. seventy, between seventy and seventy five cents. So we're looking at about eight. You know, what about twenty y'all y'all pay by the mile, so I'm going by average miles, which is like twenty yeah. five hundred on average. You know, mm-hmm. anything anything above that is a bonus. But twenty five right. so we're looking at about eighteen seventy five a week before taxes. Yeah, they're doing really well. Oh, okay. On W two. Yes, sir. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Liking liking this. Yeah, we like to tell them. I typically tell drivers between fourteen and eighteen hundred a week, mm-hmm. um, depending on where they're going and what they're doing for the regional work. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, a lot of them do exceed that. The drivers that go into Canada, they make typically like two grand a week, usually a little bit more than that. So it's insanely busy. Um, we keep getting more business. So it's, okay, all right. Yeah. What what benefits do you guys offer? Um, so we have, um, an independence blue cross, like the independence administrator plan. They start mm-hmm. after 30 days of service. So, um, very affordable, um, dependent on who you need to cover. Um, if you're looking to cover your whole family, um, it is the two plans. So one is $107 a week and the other one is 163 a week. Okay, so. so this this is not company paid then, by the sounds of it. No, it's not com- I'm no, it's not company paid, but it is still very like it's a very affordable plan. Oh, okay. Um, so like your employee only, for example, if it's so your high deductible plan runs fifteen dollars a week, and then your PPO high plan is forty three dollars a week. Oh, so okay. when it's just an employee, it's very affordable. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean the family plans honestly aren't bad either. Like I I've seen I work I've worked in HR for quite a few years, so these are very good especially for driving um but um yeah so then we have a 401k with match that starts after 90 days um the employee paid holidays the six major holidays are paid out at 160 dollars a day um Mm. and they offer um decent vacation as well okay okay all right so home so home time what would uh what do you guys require the drivers do you, so, is this like regional is it like uh, um so the drive okay so the drive bulk um eighty percent of our drive i mean eighty percent of our fleet is home every night mm-hmm. um so the dry bulk they're almost all of them are home daily um and then the liquids um Typically, like for your asphalt and propane, um, if they're local to the tri-state area, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey type, we have home daily for that. Um, And then for um, your lubricants, drivers typically stay out Monday through Friday. Um, We do have several that like to stay out two weeks at a time Mm -hmm. and so on. just kind of dependent on what they prefer. Now for um, the, and then we also have the OTR drivers as well. Now for the drivers that's that's home daily, they have to stay around. They they had to pretty much live in the area they of the, of the with, terminal. Yeah. So typically we're looking for somebody to live within a thirty mile radius. Mm-hmm. Um and then we're also but they drive in a two hundred fifty to three hundred mile radius of where they their okay. terminal or their their parking. All right, so that's so that's home daily. Okay, what now? You mentioned regional, so if yeah. that's all right, so if regional is home, uh, you know, home on the weekends, uh, yeah. do they come home Friday, stay off yeah, so usually, Saturday, Sunday, and back on home all day Saturday and Sunday? If they get home Saturday morning for whatever reason they couldn't get home Friday night, they'll leave later on Monday. So awesome. those are. Drivers in like the New York, PA, um, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia. If you're going down south, because I do look for drivers in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, they're typically out seven to ten days, just because oh. the freight doesn't run as close to them. Um, mm-hmm. So they stay out a little bit longer, but still very. I mean, still not too bad. So now, been out seven to ten. Now, for drivers that uh, that that stay in the other areas of the world, would they be able to take the uh-huh. truck home? Um, yeah, so if you're a regional driver, we do let you bring the truck home. 
Okay. All right. Uh, uh, speak- or we'll, if you can't, we'll find you parking close by. Gotcha. We have no problem taking care of that. Speaking of trucks, what are the equipment that you run and what are they governing that? Um, So the home daily drivers, um, day cabs, um, all our freight is typically uh, Max, Vision, uh, Max, um, Peterbilt, um, International, Mm -hmm. um, some Freightliners. Um, We do have for our regional opportunities 70 inch sleepers, Max Visions, Peterbilt 579, and then Mm -hmm. International LPs. Mm-hmm. We're governed at 70. Um, if you're driving in the States, drivers that go to Canada are at 65. Oh, okay. Okay. Driver-facing cameras? Um, no, just road-facing. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so the lanes, we already talked about that. So you guys run Canada. You guys run OTR. Now, o- uh-huh. OTR. So we, oh, go ahead. Uh, so we run all 48, um, but... I mean, a majority of our freight does run if you were to cut a line from Wisconsin to Texas. So okay. we have a terminal in Chicago. They do go into Chicago. Um, they run into Texas. They run the Gulf, and then they run the 95. Um, we do go to more with the motor oil, at least. We do go into um, rural-type areas. So, like, some of them head into Arkansas, some of them up to, like, upstate New York. Mm-hmm. Um, really just depends on what's going on. So some of it may run to Georgia, Florida. All right. Question. Um, the driver says, go ahead. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, sorry about that question. So do you guys, well, it's a two-part question. The first part is, mm-hmm. do you guys run the chain states? Chains? What does that mean? I never heard that before. Well, chain states like North Dakota, Wyoming. We sometimes, um, we run in Utah, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Um not as frequent as the Eastern work, but they do have some that runs California, things like that. Okay. Okay. And my other part mm-hmm. question full, do you guys pay extra for running up in the Northeast? I know you guys is a Pennsylvania companies, but do you guys go up into like New York, Delaware? Uh, um, in that so little we have, corner? <laughs> we do have a Metro package if they're like, um, so we have a terminal, not a terminal, a parking in um, South Plainfield like, which is right by New York City. So if they're running Metro, they mm-hmm. do get an extra 10%, um, but they have to live in a certain area. Oh, okay. So we don't have a lot of, we don't have a specific package for, like, Northern, like, if they're going to Maine, mm-hmm. things like that. Um, but they do if they're doing, like, the home daily work, because it is hard to find drivers out of that, like, a little bit low, south of um, New York City. So exactly. trying to, yeah, but they make good money. When they okay. do, if they come on, they make like 1500 a week for a home daily now, on average. Now, you did mention in the beginning of our conversation, you said that uh, you guys do offer a, what, $10,000 sign-on bonus? Yes. Yeah. So um, $10,000 $10, if um, they have one year of tanker experience in the northern states. So okay. um, if not, it's $7,000. Uh, okay. And how is it How is it paid out? $500 each month. Um for 14 months for 7,000, uh, for the 10,000, it is, um, 20 months. Okay. Okay. Um, well, all right. Well, since you guys is looking for like experienced, uh, mm-hmm. tanker drivers and experienced tractor drivers, um, I'm going to yeah. assume that you guys don't, uh, don't offer, uh, CDL opportunities for drivers that don't. We have. No, we don't. Unfortunately. Yeah. They have to have a, prior driving experience exactly all right well again how do you pronounce it again venetia venetia okay okay venetia thank you there's a t in there that's invisible but yeah no i appreciate you giving me a call it was great speaking with you i and i appreciate i I appreciate the candor and the uh, honesty of the company i would definitely take this back uh take this information back and i will share it with my social media people and my uh, network of drivers and hopefully you know hopefully you guys will get something out of it yeah thanks so much i appreciate it okay you You stay safe out there you too now thank you take care all right bye-bye vanessa man that's that's a cute female name i mean if i was to have any more kids and i want a daughter I think I would name her Vanessa. But anyway, what do you guys think of that call right there? Let me know in the comments below. Um, 
what you guys think of this call. I mean, it's on W two. You you making you making close to like ninety k on uh, W two. You probably might be going home uh, if you do seventy. Uh, if you do about twenty five hundred miles a week, you you looking at about eighteen eighteen seventy five. If you're uh, doing more miles than that, how much you can possibly bring home on W two? So would this be a six figure company? Guys, have I found it? Have I found another six figure company for you guys? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Yes, you do need your tankers uh, and your hazmat for the liquid loads. But if you're driving the dry bulk and everything, you don't need your endorsements at all. Man, guys, let me let me know what you think about this company. All right, that's going to do it. If anybody that works at Venezia, Venezia out of Pennsylvania, wait. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, yeah, Pennsylvania. I hate Pennsylvania. Y'all can have that. But if anybody out uh, that drives for this company, let us know in the comments below if this company is treating you well and how you're faring every week. This sounds like th this. This may sound like a a good company. All right, guys. Already know that you need about a year a year of experience to come in. Make sure that background check is on point and see if Venezia will work for you. OK, well, that's going to do it. If this if this information is value to you or if it or if it helps you out in any kind of way, make sure you leave this video a like. It works. It helps. It does the channel good. If you guys like more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for daily content until next time everybody make sure you support the channel all of the donations is in the description below help out help your boy out with some coffee so that he can continue to do the good work for you guys thank you very much for watching and listening and until next time this has been another mtc episode you guys take it easy and i'll talk to you later Peace.